Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a little small recap. I give you guys a recap and review on a new episode of Steins Gate that I just watched today since it's Sunday of the new week and so forth. And it's the weekend, which is episode five. Now, this episode right here. Oh my goodness, man. Talk about a big load of information given into this episode that pretty much shocked the living heck out of me. Even I just go like, what in the world, man? That is pretty crazy. So if anything else, let's go. Okay, you know, we have to it that our girl, Amane, is just like um, hanging out at the store, you know, getting ready, just doing her work and part-time job as usual. But eventually when we have to it that Christina and... Hawaii Kyoma comes by, you know, which is Makise, Makise Kurisu and Okabe Rintaro or Okarin in other cases. They come on by and they see Amane and Amane is just having a little small talk with Okarin, you know, until she sees um Christina or Makise, Makise, she has this like deadly look in her eye, like ready to like um kill her prey or her target or something. I'm thinking my mind. Yo, are you okay? The, the woman, I took a look at that. I'm thinking in my mind, I wonder if that's going to be having a major role to play, which I'm looking forward to, which I think it has to be because more information down the line she explains to Kyoma or, Ho, Kyoma or Okarin, you know? So they brought in the IBM 5100. Even Daru is surprised and shocked along with Mayuri or Mayuri. So they brought it in and they need to grab some parts, you know, that kind of thing. And Mayuri decides to lead, decides to tour Makise around the lab for a bit, and Ma and we see to it that Mayuri says that she's a hostage or something. But and Makise was about to call the cops or something, which is pretty hilarious. But Mayuri says, uh 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 uh, I'm the one that volunteered to become his hostage though, which is really really strange and funny. But at the same time, um, it wasn't like um too much of a big deal, you know. So I just go. Like, Ah, uh, whatever, you know, let's let's keep it going. Eventually, as time continues on with its, with this procedure, um, you see to it that Okarin is trying to find the parts for the IBM 5100, which is pretty, um, troubling for him. But eventually, we have to it that our warrior girl, Amane, um, comes in and helps out. And she says, like, she talked to an expert about the IBM 5100. Kyoma asked her to help to help him out by like um let tell me about this person, you know, that kind of thing. But she says she can't. He goes like, Don't you value your life, blah blah blah, etc. Those of you who watched the episode or even read the visual novel, whatever you did, um or watched the series, blah blah blah, you know what I'm getting at. She pretty much tells him in the end that he's dead. I go like, Oh, sorry, didn't know that. But later on, Amani did warn Okarin to like um, keep an eye on Makise Kurisu because she does not really know. She doesn't. She doesn't remember now, but she's gonna be a major threat. She's pretty much saying. Don't really know what she mean by that. But later on, she ends up being a little bit more um defensive when she heard a helicopter. But it was just like um recording some fire fireworks or something. And Okarin tells her to go here and there, you know, or Hoai and Kyoma whatsoever. And therefore um. She decides to take her leave, and then Kyoma meets up with Christina and Mayuri. You already know who Christina is. That's freaking like um, Makase Kurisu, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, as the episode continues its progression, we see to it that Christina will go with Ho Kyoma's... will go back to the laboratory with Kyoma, you know? And he goes like, huh, you're a little interested, aren't you? She goes like, only a little bit. And I'm thinking in my mind, yo, you are still interested either way, so... Even if it's a little bit, it doesn't really matter, so either you just want to take a look or just watch, you know, that kind of thing, you're still interested. So don't go saying like, oh, I'm only a little bit interested. BS, alright? Don't try to be BS your way out of it. Just saying. Anyways, um, episode keeps going, and as we see our buddies, on the other hand, continuing their own procedure and job, we see to it that nothing much was really going on as usual, you know? But... Let's see here, the IBM 5100 is pretty much being repaired up, you know, and Christina wears a lab coat, and Kyoma's like really, really, really happy about that, like he's into it, and I think in my mind, <sighs> you never learn, do you? So, we have a little small um, procedure, small pep talk around here and there, you know, about like um, 
Christina and so forth. They play a little game here and there, which is pretty, which is pretty, which is pretty much probably the same one from the last from the last episode I watched yesterday. You know, on Saturday, and later on, like um, kill my lost. But later on, we see to it that Christina tells her, calls him by his name Okabe and saying that he's strategic. He only he he only thinks about his strategies. Blah blah blah. Don't really know how to keep keep on a winning streak and. Okabe was not happy about this. He says, you call me Okabe, huh? Well, I am Hoayon. I call me Hoayon or Kyomai while he yelled at her, you know? And this get, and this brought some tears to her eyes, to my surprise. She goes like, spent like something about a man yelling at me, blah, 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 that kind of thing, and so forth. And therefore, um, Okabe asked um, Christina, like, shouldn't you go back to your hotel room? She goes like, nah, I, there's no one else I can contact with when Okabe went... Kyoma asked Christina. Christina goes like, my mom's in America. I haven't seen my dad for seven years or something. I think my mind, like, dang, now that's a long time. Talk about like some serious like um, aftermath here and there, you know? But as Daru finishes hacking, he ends up finding some information about CERN. Like it was created maybe around like 1973 or so. And I think in my mind, holy dang, what the heck is going on here, you know? All this information was like boiling up, you know? And... We see to it that there's these kinds of programs involved with like um this time travel thing, which surprised the living life out of like Christina because she does not believe in time travel. You know, it's theoretically impossible that kind of thing. And therefore, um, the there were like four programs involved and so forth. One of them is con construction, Annabel, maintenance of. Lion Haran or something, or Lion Haran, sorry, um, and, and so forth. Program 2 is like impl implementation and tuning of the lifter, which something involved, which is also known as an Ional craft, which probably might be back at episode 1, possibly, when I looked at it. That might be the craft by any chance. Program 3 involves animal experiments, and Program 4 was really shocking to Christina is human experiments which relates to human is dead mismatch which is the information found in either episode two or three and i go like oh my gosh so what's going on here and therefore kyoma warns christina to go home right now like things could get a little bit more hectic or maybe dangerous right now but but christina says i appreciate you your concern for me but i can't go to sleep with this information in my head right now and I'm thinking about my hey, you got some big ways to be nosy even though working with a couple geeks or something that hacks into systems and tries to find out classified information which is pretty cool you know it'll be nice to find out some classified information anyway because let's see how classified it is why is it so dangerous why is it why is it like kept in secret and later on we end up having some certain reports that happens in the years of the 2000s you know and back then about like these people were involved with like the Z program whatsoever Z program 4 or something else that involves like a lot of humans have died doing this kind of experiment through time travel possibility they end up finding a man maybe cut in half or something on another wall and then it involves like green jelly which makes a relation to that microwave thing with the banana right there possibly because like we saw, if you got those of you who watch who watch the Steins Gate series or something, or those who play the visual novel, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm pretty sure y'all know this anyway. For me, I'm just brand new and trying to make some connections, you know. And then after that, we see to it that that every report in time traveling in the CERN's operation possibly has been dead, like literally straight up dead. And I'm thinking in my mind, whoa, whoa, whoa. So when I, I'm reflecting, I'm just reflecting back on episode one right now, you know, and I'm thinking in my mind, how is this even possible? But who knows? Might be like some kind of crazy experiment, but involved, but people pretty much died out, pretty much. And this really shocked the heck out of Kilma as he went to, as he went outside to get some air. Even Makase Karisu is thinking in her mind, well, this is pretty shocking too. I wouldn't be, um, I, I'd be in the same situation as him. And therefore, um, we see to it that Christina talks to Kyoma for a bit, blah, blah, blah. And he goes like, this microwave thing I found, you know, it's going to be another secret gadget, gadget, something, blah, blah, blah. And I think in my mind, 
what the heck, man? Are you real serious about this? This has to be like um crazy stuffings right now, you know? I'm going nuts and bolts right now because all this information right now that just poured down into my throat and my mind and my brain. I'm thinking in my mind, how is this even possible in other cases, you know? But it is what it is. So if anything else, um, yeah, not pretty cool episode, you know. Looking forward to m pretty cool episode. After it ends off with um, Hawaiian Kilman like saying a couple things, and I did take and of course like um saw the preview in the next episode. Looks like something crazy is going down. That's for sure. Um, yeah, pretty nice episode overall. Love the information here and there about like these programs and then this certain organization classified it classified information, you know, and I'm thinking in my mind, dang, dude, I, I did not expect this to give me the nuts and bolts out of my freaking head right now, you know, that kind of thing, so, pretty cool, I'm actually pretty excited to see what's gonna happen in the next episode, though I may have a good old feeling what could happen, but there's a change in the wind, possibly, so, I'm just gonna leave it at that, people, um, I'll give you guys maybe a couple updates into the future or something if something is about to change, but hopefully nothing much change, changes or something, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm off of Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.